Hey Filmmaker Chung here. In this video, I'm releasing the type text box for Premiere Pro. This is a nice intro or a review for your text or title. And of course, you can use it for your lower thirds. To not waste your time with a very long tutorial, I made a preset. So first things first, go to the link in the description below and you land on this page. This is the most important section. Press one of these buttons in this section, share, like, or tweet. Once you have pressed one of these buttons, this section will disappear and a download link will appear. And if you really appreciate what I do, there's also a donate button here below. Once you have downloaded the file, unzip it, go to the effects tab inside Premiere Pro, go to preset, right mouse click on it, choose import preset and import this file. Once you have done that, open presets, then go to Shunda title preset. Then you will find Shunda type text box uh, bin with the two presets. So now I'm going to show you how to apply this preset. So first a new title. So we're going to press Command T. We're going to make a new title with that. Press OK. We're going to drag a square here. So we're going to choose the rectangle tool. Then drag entire square over the entire image. We're going to here title properties and then choose white. And now press the type tool and we're going to type something here. First change it to black so we can see what we're typing. And we're going to type in well, type text box. We're going to center this. And yeah, we're going to just use this one, maybe different text. I think that is fine because this is just a test and we're going to drop this text here and make it at least more than uh, 60 frames so that's about two seconds and we're going to just cut it in the middle of it so we're going to do that so we have a in and an out uh, yeah we can apply the in and out effect on it so the in, of course, is the start and out is at the end. And we're going to drop it in and out. And you will see that the text isn't aligned correctly because uh, the type boxes most of the time does not work correctly. Just double click on the clip or the title clip. And we're just going to click on the text and just move it with your arrow and yeah that looks fine right now so the text is now right in the middle and actually on both of them and we're actually going to use a much thicker text instead so make this into arrow black because i want to show you something else so here we have this text and yeah you have to use white and black and inside effects control we're going to use tint to control the colors because if we don't do that uh, yeah you can't have this effect in the begin where it moves here but and does not show the text yet and then reveals the text. So you need to control the colors inside uh, the effects control and not inside title. So I'm going to change this black to black and white. And actually you can combine this with like the transparent text box effect. Uh, just make sure this is still black and white and we're going to drop in. So let's do the 100%. So here we now have a time. So now we have like a transparent text instead of uh, yeah a colored text. And we're dropping it also on the second clip so that it's continuously the same. Okay, that's that. Now we want to use this or make this into maybe a lower third. So to, yeah, this is already how we want it. Right mouse click, choose nesting. So this these two are actually connected to each other so I don't have to copy the yeah 
the settings of the position so yeah for lower thirds this might be a little bit on the big side so we're going to make it slightly smaller I think about 45 should be nice and press here on motion makes it much easier to just drag it to the position that we want and now if we play it it's playing there on the side as a lower third so that was the type text box preset for Premiere Pro. So if you have any ideas of how you are going to use this preset for your videos, please comment below. And if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos. There's a lot of tutorials, presets, and also reviews, previews, and more. And if you have any technical questions, join us on Facebook. There's a link in the description below. And I'll hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye.